hello guys welcome back in this video let's explore the slope blur filter before starting this video answer the question I have given four options here which one is the correct one comment below so what I've got right now is a, a sample file which I've opened from the open sample section here JTOAD and uh, I've assigned this concrete uh, uh, simple texture on top of it and that's it and there's nothing more in that right now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a new solid layer and I'm going to switch off everything uh, except the height so I'll keep the height and then just put some height value of 0 0.1 and uh, I would like to select a texture which should be bricks pre uh, preferably and then I'm going to invert it like that and then I'm going to repeat this tiles here okay so you got that nice um, tiles there so you've got a lot of app options here you can just explore the options there 0 0.01 0 0.01 0 0.02 and then we got offset we got the bevel feature I'll see if how this bevel is going to work okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, select that layer and then go to the height section and uh, this is actually um, sort of blending with the previous bump I'm going to switch it off by changing the blend type to normal once that is done I'll go to the filter and then add a filter called uh, blur slope okay so then you should be able to see that nice wear and tear in the line so that is really important so we have uh, the intensity of this uh, wear and tear and you should be able to see the edges are like okay jaggy they are not uniform and that's the whole idea of uh, this uh, particular filter okay and uh, we have uh, a minimum maximum range which is basically used to make this uh, uh, blur affecting to a range of colors so you can choose any one from them and I'm going to increase the intensity and then you should able to see the intensity divider if I put it to one it's a more high frequency noise and when I divide it to 10 it's uh, scaling down I mean the scale is becoming bigger and then it becomes way bigger at subdivision of 1000 okay and um, you have the quality setting which can actually affect the quality of this um, slow blur and we have the source parameter which you can use to position them um, in the height uh, the, the effect which is going to happen at which gray levels you want that effect to apply and then you have contrast setting you can play with the contrast and then you can increase the tiling and also blur that a particular texture what you are using okay and um, you have the custom noise so you can choose instead of slope blur has a default noise in it uh, you can choose uh, any other noise you prefer to and uh, to use that noise you need to scroll up and then in source type you need to change the custom noise setting and that will generally do it uh, let me actually try something else here I'm not really uh, satisfied with the results let me try with the circles and then uh, I can invert or maybe it should be fine you, you can keep exploring different types of tiles uh, what we have here so pre preferably it should look like a tile okay so I've taken a different texture altogether and you should be able to see this uh, wear out whether I mean this looks this may this makes the object look more realistic when it comes to the texture okay so 
you can uh, explore the intensity and then you can generally make it more organic uh, if you could see here okay the stone is nice it's it it's look uh, as if the stone is uh, carved with a, a very organic chisel and then you see that uh, edges there uh, without the slow blur this looks very boring which uh, very factory made and this looks way organic in comparison okay uh, let's try to add some uh, green to this so i'm going to add a uh, anchor point here okay and then just name it as a green mask okay just name it like that and then i'm going to create a new solid layer with uh, some green color okay nothing fancy just to give an idea and uh, I could make this more rough okay and then I'm going to add the height there so once that is done I'm going to add a mask to this layer and then go to mask and add a fill and in fill let's choose an anchor point and then choose this uh, mask there and invert it so you are probably doing this okay so I'm just adding that mass effect there just by adding a simple layer and referring the slow blur information what we have got and then just got that nice uh, mass between that and you can uh, further go for more details into the model okay uh, that's again your choice just I'm giving an idea on how this can be used and uh, this is all the goodness of the slope blur and uh, as I was telling you you can keep exploring different types of noises now don't uh, hesitate to try something uh, organic also okay so that gives uh, it look more a character um, and uh, see what is going to work on your model that's really important okay so that's uh, what I want to generally share with you explore this all um, um, textures and then try to use it in different places to get best offer out of it